Okay, to connect to our uh, Octopi print server for Octoprint uh, on our Raspberry Pi, you're going to navigate to Octopi. .segin.isd right? octopi.segin.isd if you were uh, on your own network if you're not in our school district and you had one of these set up you would do octopi.local or go to the IP address of your Raspberry Pi okay so this is the screen for Octoprint okay it says we are offline up here first thing we need to do is log into it and I will give you the login information. I call mine Lulzbot because it's connected to a Lulzbot mini. And I will give you the password um, separately. And then login. Okay. And it says login successful. All right. Now, the next thing you need to do is click the connect button. And it takes it a couple of minutes to start connecting from the Raspberry Pi to the printer. So we're going to wait for it here. Okay, um, now you can see up here where it says the state that it is operational. Okay, so that means we are connected. And then you get temperatures down here for the hot end, which is the extruder, and the temperature for the bed. And this is where um, if you need to set the um, temperature, like you're going to change out the, uh, the filament, you can set it right here um, to whichever you're using. Most of the time we're using PLA, which would be 205 degrees. If you do set a temperature, you'll notice over here on this uh, graph that this is the target temperature. And then once it starts warming up, here you go. You see this little red line, and you can see that it's heating up. And when it gets hot enough, it'll reach all the way up here to the target, which is 205. But we're not doing that right now, so I'm going to just go ahead and turn that to off. Okay, now, what do you want to do if you print something? Okay, you're going to scroll down, and I'm assuming you already have a G code file on your computer. All right, uh, you click on the upload button, and it's going to take you to your computer where you've got it stored, and you have to navigate on your computer to, a, to whatever folder you've got it stored in. Okay, and you're looking for the G code. All right, and I have several of them here. Uh, we're just going to load this one right here. It's a G code file. All right, it says uploading. All right, so there it is in the file list. Okay, um, and to get that to print, all you need to do is click on the load and print button right here. Load and print. When you do that, okay, and I don't know if you can hear it in the background, but I can hear the printer going. Okay, and so what it's going to do is it's going to go ahead and go through its startup procedures where it'll warm up, it'll wipe the nozzle, it'll level the bed, and then it'll start printing. Okay, and when it's done, that's it. Um, it'll it'll uh, spit the bed out forward and you take it off. Okay, one more thing. Um, every time you print something, I would go down here and I would remove it after it's already printed because the Raspberry Pi only has four gigabytes of storage. Uh, and so if you leave too many things on there, it's going to get full.